tools we have. OK, you need subcontracting. So subcontracting, uh, anyone uh, do you do you aware about this subcontracting process? How it will be works? OK, uh, basically subcontracting is nothing but like we also call it job work. OK, so it is simple like uh, we are giving uh, components components. So that means we have the components that uh, like raw materials and packing materials. OK, we have these components, but uh, might be we don't have the machinery or maybe we don't have time or we, might be we don't have manpower. Any region might be any region. So what we are doing, we are just uh, giving these components to nearest subcontractor. OK. So this subcontractor will prepare the products. Uh, he will produce the product by using my components. So generally, uh, if you're talking about the other process, OK, it is completely vendor or stock. OK, even it is a P2P cycle or if it is third party or it is consignment. It is completely vendor stock, but here it is the the components which is issuing from the our location. That means uh, it is a uh, our our components. It is our materials by using our materials so, uh, subcontracting prepare, preparing the finished goods. OK, so can you give me one example? Uh, what is the best example for this sub subcontracting? Yeah, actually Ravi I, earlier I was working with some uh, retail company here. OK. So we have so many products which are related to bath and body, like mm -hmm. hand soaps, sanitizers, mm -hmm. even the home goods items like uh, uh, candles and all. Okay. So we we never manufacture them. We subcontract them to all the you know, local manufacturers. We just label, formula is ours. What needs to be used mm -hmm. in the as the ingredient that formula is our owned by our company, but we never mm -hmm. manufacture them. We subcontract to a third party manufacturer, they will manufacture it. We label them and we sell it. That is how okay. we did that. Okay, in this case, who will be the subcontractor? Subcontractor is the local manufacturers actually. So we are, whatever okay. the orders we get from the stores or we have STOs like yesterday we were talking about. Okay, who will issue? Okay, here the components, that means cloth, everything, it is a uh, Elastic and uh, the, uh, the maybe neck uh, all it uh, might be all these things. Who will supply? You mean to say the raw, raw materials used in that product? Yeah, correct. Uh, so might be it is like a we never procure part. them even. Those are procured by under, uh, the person who to whom we provide gave the contract. Okay. We will only sell the products. We store them in our warehouse. We'll transfer them to our uh, like uh, shops across the US or across the globe and we sell them. That's it. Mm, no, my, there is another division is there, apparel division, uh -huh. for which we will procure the material and we will manufacture it. Manufacture there. OK, you are manufacturing. So OK, so here yeah. the point is uh, you are buying the product from the outside and you are manufacturing, right? Not buying exactly, but everything is ours only. I mean, the formula, the base formula, what needs to be used in a candle okay. or so, in a body shampoo. Okay. Yeah. So that's why the formulated by our own team. Okay. That why we generally call it as STO, right? It is not a subcontractor. Why? Because uh, the subcontractor is the uh, is that uh, our company or it is from a different company. The, that is owned by company only, but they will be in a different location. Mm -hmm. so but the, that is. Yeah. But that is not subcontracting exactly. So the subcontracting is not nothing but like he is also external vendor. Okay, he is also okay. vendor. Okay, he is uh, producing the product, but uh, instead of using the their own raw materials, they are uh, they are using the our our products. Okay. okay. So here this case is completely different than that. Okay. And uh, what was the uh, best example for this? Uh, it's those are bad. Like, uh, I like think you say, it'll think take, who are take already, the uh, guys uh, who are they are already in the whole class. Uh, might be, I think they are already aware, but uh, we'll give chance to the new people. Sure, okay. sir. Okay. 
Yeah. So what were the best examples for this subcontracting? Has for, has for your understanding? Sunil? Yeah, I, yeah, tell me. Yeah, so what were the best examples for this subcontracting generally? No, no, whatever I know, I just have to no, okay. okay. Okay, so uh, if you're talking about that, maybe mill, milling, you know, milling or grinding, or uh, it might be grinder. Uh, so in generally in our home, okay, if we don't have any machinery, we will go nearest to uh, mill shop and we'll ask them to produce a product like red chilies. I have own products of red chilies, but uh, might be I don't have the machinery, red chilies machinery, or it might be. Um, I don't have the grinder or maybe I don't have a mix, mix, mixy. OK, I'm just nearing going to nearest to our shop and I'm just uh, requesting them to produce the finished goods. OK, so these cases, so uh, the products which is raw materials like red chili is it is from the, my own products, but uh, the chili powder. OK, the chili powder uh, it, it, it is producing by subcontractor. OK. OK, so that was one example uh, uh, you can consider. OK, or uh, if you just uh, think about that in any other way, OK, even in automobiles, what will be happen? OK, uh, might be uh, Suzuki, they are sending the uh, all the parts. OK, Marty, they are uh, reassembling and producing the finished goods, the car, everything. It is in the previous case, like Marty Suzuki, it is two brands actually. So Marty and Suzuki will get we will get uh, some uh, engines and some brand which is related we will get from the Suzuki and the Marty Suzuki they will produce the finished goods. Okay, so so here the point is the components which is issuing from the our location. Okay, it is from the our our company they are uh, they are issuing the components to the subcontractor and we are requesting to the produce the finished goods. So clear? Okay. Any doubts on this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, so here the components for production issue by our company our production will happen. Will do by supplier. So we are sending components to contractor to the uh, to produce the test of FG product by using our components. Uh, generally, we'll call a subcontractor, or we can also call it job work. Job work also it is the same. Okay, and the best example we can say like uh, example which is like uh, uh, chili powder. And this is the best example. We have uh, red chilies. We have red chilies, but uh, we don't have a mill to produce the uh, produce the red chili powder. So we are requesting sub request requesting to subcontractor to produce the red chili powder. Using my red chilies. Uh, 
Okay, so I hope you are uh, clear about this one. Yes, yeah. Okay, so uh, I can give one more example here. Okay, uh, did you aware about the sugar? Uh, did, did anyone aware about the sugar uh, preparation production? Anyone aware about the sugar production? Yeah, we know. No, sir. What were the main raw material for this? Sugar cane. Yeah, okay. So sugar cane, right? So, so suppose I have the uh, my own farm, farm and I'm just producing the sugar canes. Okay, I'm just uh, getting the sugar, sugar canes, but I, do, I don't have the production department. I don't have the machinery to prepare the sugar. Okay, so we will give the sugar canes to uh, the nearest uh, um, wherever the production department it is there. We will ask supplier, subcontractor to produce the sugar. Okay, so along with the sugar, uh, did we get any additional product when we pre yeah, produce we the sugar? Did we get any we additional waste. product? We will get the wastage. Wastage, yeah. So like uh, it is a big general college molasses, right? Yeah, molasses. So molasses is the one of the additional byproduct which we are which we are getting from the subconductor from the production. OK, now my question is here. I we I just expected that only sugar. My, my main product is sugar. OK, my components are sugar canes and the, my main product is sugar, which we produce. But now I'm getting the additional product. That was we call it molasses, right? So that additional we are getting. So what we general call this uh, this additional product? General, uh, how we will call this additional product? We will call it a byproduct. So whatever we ordered uh, main product, apart from that main product, if we get any additional product, that product we call as a byproduct. Okay, but I meant why because uh, why we are talking about this waste material. So here maybe it is a waste material, but this molasses is just uh, is an expensive item might be they are using for the some other production or it may be for some food items or it may be they are using for the ad, any additional other products. OK, so those cases molasses also it's valuable. Okay? We cannot we cannot say that it is a uh, non valuable. It is also valuable. OK, so those cases we are we, we also need to be tracked that the byproduct. OK, clear what, what do you mean by byproduct? Yeah. OK, and here one more concept is. Under consumption and over consumption. Consumption. So what do you mean by under consumption and over consumption? So in case if I say if I send one ton uh, sugar canes, OK, if I send one ton sugar canes, so I'm expecting that 100 kgs of the uh, sugar. So I requested uh, uh, to subcontractor, please produce the 100 kgs of sugar. Okay, the final product, which I am expecting that. But this to produce this 100 kgs might be they can use completely one ton sugar cans, or it might be uh, there might be required ad additional sugar cans, or it might be they they are uh, using only uh, less than one ton. OK, so it might be 990 kgs or 900 kgs they are using. It's not only one ton, one ton. It's not only one ton. It might be 900 kgs they are using. So the remaining 100 kgs, which is the. We will get back to uh, from that product, right? Why? Because we additionally sent 100 kgs to subcontractor. OK, might be why? Because um, might be some, uh, some sugar cans are good quality and some sugar cans are bad quality so i can also i cannot i cannot assume that what is the uh, what is the exact consumption right some cases it's very difficult especially for the food items it is very difficult to assume that uh, how, how much we need to consume the product okay it might be 100 kgs or it may be 150 110 so there will, there will be a plus or minus tolerance will be there so those cases we are using that under consumption over consumption OK, so if it is a additional product which they required, they will request that. OK, boss, 
you uh, I got only one ton, but uh, looks like uh, to prepare the 100 kgs of sugar, I need one more uh, additionally 100 kgs. Then again, you are sending that product. Okay, if it is a uh, if it is only the required 900 kgs, so after using this 900 kgs, uh, they understand that okay, one uh, 100 kgs of sugar it is prepared. So we uh, then they will stop that and they will return back the the remaining products. Clear? What do you mean by under and over consumption? Are you clear about this? Yes. Any doubts? Can can yeah, I repeat yeah. the over consumption? Yeah. So okay. Suppose you are manufacturing the product. Okay. Let's say you are manufacturing the product of uh, juice, sugarcane juice. Let's say have you have the sugarcane juice shop. Okay. Just take an example. Okay. Now. Generally, if I just if I, I want to be prepared of one glass or one bottle of sugar cane, sugar juice, okay, generally I can use the one stick or two sticks. OK, so based on that, OK, I just uh, giving to you. OK, boss, uh, I need uh, one bottle of sugar cane juice. So please uh, use these two sticks, sugar cane sticks and please produce that one. OK, so some cases what will be happen? It is not sufficient. Okay, it is not sufficient. Whatever you send that two sugarcane sticks, might be you, you have to send additional product also, right? But because might be the quality of the sugarcanes are not good. Or some cases, if it is a, if you are giving two sticks, might be they can produce that one bottle within the one stick only. It's depend on the quality of the product also. Correct. Yeah. So. Whatever the additional we need to send, or whatever the additional which we need to get, those we call as a over and under, under consumption. Did you understand, or still you have doubts? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah. So can I repeat know? like one second? Sorry. Can you repeat one second, sir? Okay. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, so just assume that. First, mm -hmm. just assume that to prepare the okay, one bottle of sugar can juice. So my my expectation is suppose two sticks, two sugar can sticks is enough for this. It is enough only to sugar sugar cane sticks. Now the sugar cane juice who will the juice shop or is someone who is preparing. OK, mm -hmm. he started mm -hmm. he started working on the to produce the product. OK, so once once he consumed the product. OK, once he consumed one a stick. OK, we got the one bottle of sugar. Bottle of sugar cane juice. So let me know. So how many products you send? How many products you oh, send sir. to the subcontractor? Two, two sugar two, cane sticks. But uh, how many it is consumed? One stick. One stick. That means the remaining one. Did you leave that or did you get from the subcontractor? We will get it. Well, we'll get it. We'll get it back, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Suppose, yes. suppose this case. OK, once I consume that, once I consume. Two stick. OK, so we got. Off letter of body. Okay. Of the sugar cane. OK. And now. Do you want to produce a full bottle or half bottle? Full bottle. Sir. So now you need to send additional uh, raw materials, right? Yes, yes. OK, so that is the concept which here. OK, if, it, if there is any other consumption or over consumption, OK, that we will get back from the subcontractor. OK. Clear? Yes, sir. Any doubts? No, sir. OK, and I hope you understand by product. Yeah, yes, sir. 
OK, that is not the auto under byproduct. And you understand the subcontracting process also. Okay. Clear? So can yes. I go ahead for the next topic? Yes, sir. OK, good. Okay, good. Now coming to the, ne the next process. Uh, this is STO, stock transport order. OK, now. So this was a little bit uh, uh, big topic STO process, but I will uh, give the simple way. What do you mean by stock transport order? OK, so STO is nothing but like a stock transport order. Suppose I have the A plant. So plant here. And I have the plan B. Okay. So, uh, Sunil, what are you just given the example? Might be that will be match here. Okay. Yeah. So, plant A and plant B. Okay. Now, the plant here have the only the inventory. Okay. They are it's like a depot plant. We have only inventory here. Okay. Now, plant B. They are manufacturing. Manufacturing. Okay. Now, when they want to do the any production, okay, they must be uh, having the the components. Either it may be raw materials or packing materials, or its label, or it may be elastics or whatever may be. Okay. May be generic or non-generic items. What are it may be pre-pack items. Okay. So those cases. The manufacturer will request that to plant a boss. If I need to produce that, okay, I need to produce one, uh, let's say, uh, hundred shots. I need to produce the hundred shots. Now, to produce these hundred shots, okay, I'm just requesting to the plant a boss. Uh, boss, I got this requirement. Huh, I'm just planning to produce the hundred shots. To produce the hundred shots, might be I need. OK, um, elastics. Like 100 pieces. OK. And I need a cloth. Might be it is like a uh, 100. Like a thousand meters. OK. okay. Plus I need labels. Even uh, you can say this is also elastic will be calculated in the meters, but depends on it is already if it is uh, already cut and roll, it is done. Then it might be we can say pieces, okay. And the labels we need 100 pieces. Let's assume that, okay. I'm just assuming that. to prepare the 100 shirts, I need uh, 100 pieces of elastic, okay, to stitching that and uh, cloth. I need 100,000 meters, which is uh, might be the color size. Okay, the color and maybe okay, plain colors are different colors and uh, maybe they are uh, different different articles and they have different different sizes. Grid, they will be the different grids or they will be maintained. Okay, let's assume that I need a thousand meters of the cloth and I need a hundred meters, hundred pieces. Now, uh, did plant B have the stock elastic and cloth and labels? Did plant B have the stock? No. No, right? Why? Because it's not inventory location. It's not a storage location. It's not inventory location. They will do only manufacturing. So what will what they will do once they get the order? OK, based on the uh, the products, which is the components which we require, they will request to, to plant here. OK, so once I got once plant here, get the request from the plant B. OK, plant here. Prepared the uh, delivery and uh, will re produce uh, will send the goods to plant B. Okay, it's like a transferring from one plant to another plant stock. Okay, so that we generally call as a stock tra stock transport order. Okay, again in this stock transport order we have the different scenarios. Might be uh, if it is a different company codes or if it is within the company code. Okay, and the way of the doing in the SAP, we have different methods. OK, but just understanding that what is the stock transport order? 
So did you understand what you mean by stock transport order? Yeah, just like a plant to plant transfer the stock which we are moving from one plant to another plant. But there might be different different uh, scenarios again. OK, when when we can get the scenarios. When we are doing this SAP practice, we'll just let you know and let me go. So what are the scenarios we have? Just let's go. OK, uh, we have five methods here. OK, we have five methods here. One method is. Plan to plan transfer. In one step. OK. And uh, the second one is plan to plan transfer. Okay. With two steps. Okay. And now stock transfer. Using MM road. And stock transfer. Using ST route. At no billing. The STO stock transfer order stock transfer using ST route with billing. So, what do you mean by these different steps? Okay. Uh, the first and second step, okay, in case uh, in the same location, if they have the two branches, like suppose. In the same location, I have plant A, plant B. Okay, so those cases, I don't want, I don't want to be maintain anything billing and uh, SD road. Okay, why? Because it, it is in the same location, we just transferring the goods. So to reduce the might be uh, to reduce the uh, user uh, entry. Okay, we just putting into the single step. Okay, so they can do, they can do. Sending and receiving at a, at a time. Receiving in single screen. So we can say like single screen. So uh, it is not necessary to do uh, two, two, three, four steps. How we are doing PO, PO confirmation, GR, GR again invoice, like that. We have different, different steps, right? But here we don't need to do all the steps. We just a single screen, we can do the transfer posting. Okay, when we are using this one, if it is a within the location between uh, it is a side by side plan, or it may be in the uh, in the single location. Okay, it is a near near to that. Okay, those cases what we have been, it is not going outside the stock. It is not going any stock outgoing. Okay, but it is in the in the same location. It is there. Okay, so let's assume that how we can say like, okay, if you go to any par uh, parlor milk parlor. Did you see that in the nearest milk industry, milk factory, we can see the some outlets. Okay, so suppose I have the Vijay milk or Jersey milk. Okay, now it is the, their own production is there. Okay, and also I can see some outlet. Okay, so we just need to be segregate these two. I'm just maintaining manufacturing plant has a plant A, and the outlet will be the plant B. So those cases. It is a within the location, right? The outlet only. It's outlet. We can use simply the process like one step or two step procedure. Okay. So in this case, what will be happen? They will do sending one time. Okay. And second step receiving in one screen. Okay, sending in one screen. And that means one transaction I'm talking about and receiving in one uh, transaction. So that's why I, uh, I can uh, I can explain this. So after we started the SAP, okay, so I'm just giving the idea about that. Why, what are the different methods since you already write that? Okay, uh, we just talking about the concept here, but uh, anyway, you already asking that uh, uh, what are the five steps it is there. I'm just uh, talking about those steps. Okay, just try to understand that 
when it we, when we just started in the SAP, I can explain that uh, what is a single screen and when uh, when it is, is two steps and single step and two steps. I can explain that. Okay, so it is just it is the same thing like plan to plan transfer, but it is within the single screen and it is a two screens. Clear. So generally we gener we generally call as one transaction. Okay, it's not like. This is a transaction. Okay, and again, this is another transaction. Okay, this is one transaction, and this is another transaction. Clear? And here also we can say it is a it is it we can do at a single transaction this one in the single step. So any doubts in this one? No, sir. Did you have any doubts here? In this two? No, sir. No, sir. Once we go to sub, then we will so, get it clearly. Yeah, we still here. So while creating these in the SAP system, or what kind of document we call them as? Is it still ST only? Transfer posting. Okay. It is like a transfer posting document. OK, OK. I think if you already aware about this SAP screen, OK, there will be a concept like goods received, goods issue, transfer posting. Yeah, okay. So we generally in inventory management, we are doing these transactions. Goods okay. received, goods issue, transfer posting. Yeah. OK. It's clear, Sunil? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, now what do what do you mean by MM root? Guys, how what do what do you mean by MM root? What, what is MM root? Material management root. P O G R M I S like that. This yes. is MM, right? We are doing PO creation, we are doing GR, we are doing invoice like that. Correct. So that is a we general college yes. MM root. Okay. Following now, the process. Even this is a normal procurement process being involved. Yeah. So it's not. It's like a normal procurement process. Okay. But I, I will explain about it here. One, two, three. What is the difference? Okay. One and two. There is no difference. Uh, what you understand? It is a single transaction. And uh, there is a two transaction which we are running. Now coming to that one and two are three. So what is the difference? Divo or process and uh, MM root. In MM root, we can perform the procurement to. I mean, we have to do the transactions more. Mm -hmm. Can you come again? Can you come again? Sorry, I couldn't understand. Yeah. yeah, in MM we can do the more than two transaction. I thought in MM root. It's not like more more than two transactions. Okay. Okay. How MM root will be started? Where exactly they started MM root? From the procurement. Okay. 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 Uh, that's clear. Okay. Now Daibo, if we talking about that, we are using only inventory management. But I'm just talking when I'm talking about this here, I'm we are using procurement and inventory both. So what is the major step in the procurement? The major vendor, step? Vendor, vendor selection. No, no. Creating purchase order for your vendor. The major step is nothing but like the final step, which is like where it is ending that. Purchase order, right? Yeah, purchase order only. Yeah. So here what we'll do, we'll create the stock transport order. Stock transport order is nothing but like it's a PO created in a receiving plan. Okay, I need the I need the stock, so I'm raising my request. I'm raising my request. Boss, can you plan? Can you send these goods to my location? Okay, if you see the above above one and uh, above one two two methods, there is no request. Okay, if I can call them and they are sending directly. 
if I call them, they are sending directly. But here in the MM road, we have the purchase order. There is a proof that you are asking, sending the stock to me. Clear? Clear? Hello? No, sir. Okay. So, uh, Sunil, uh, I think there were some echoes. Uh, could not able to hear. Is that Sunil you are talking about? Yeah. Okay, sir, so there was some sound. I think uh, we could not able to hear properly. The can you check that? Can you check the mic? Maybe. No, no. I could not. Is that problem for me only or it is your one, guys? Even I am not able to hear properly. So, Okay. We are also okay. getting that. Okay. But Sunil, you are getting my voice, right? Clearly? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting your voice. Yeah. Okay. Now it's good, Sunil. Now it's good. Okay. 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 Now I will tell you here. Let's assume that. Let's assume. Who will, who will uh, sending the goods? Okay, uh, I just let's uh, who will sending the goods first understand the video. who will sending the goods. Who will sending the goods? Winner only. Plant A. Winner only, right? Generally. Yeah. Right. And who will receive the goods? The customer. customer. Who will receive the goods? Is a customer. Okay, now how you know whether you got the request or not? Whether how how he knows that uh, whether he got the order, uh, whether he got a uh, request to, from the company? Well, how, the to that yeah, so the PO is created. So PO received by vendor, right? And who will be supplying the goods? So who is receiving the goods? Customer. Okay, that means goods received. Goods received here, GR. Goods here will happen in in customer location. Right. My question yes. is here: If you are not created a PO, okay, I don't know how much stock you required, what material you required. Right. So in this stock transfer using MM road, what we will do, we will create the stock transport order. That means PO created, okay, in the receiving plan. That means I am requesting. I am requesting to supply plan. Boss, can you please send me goods to my location? Who will who will write the PO? Who will write the PO? The customer. Customer, right? That means yes. receiving plan, right? Yeah. Who will be receiving the goods? Receiving plan is the my customer, right? So here yeah. the concept is the above one and two. I don't have any proper documentation. What we ordered might be randomly. I'm sending that. Okay, today I just need to be send out to two bikes. Tomorrow I'm just sending three bikes. For uh, maybe day after tomorrow I'm just sending the two bikes. It is a, just like a regular transaction, but I don't have any proofs. You are asking me and I'm sending you. But when it is coming to step three, OK. The receiving plant, the receiving plant, they're requesting that, OK, boss, I need two bikes. Please send me this day. I had a customer order. I need to dispatch that. Please send me these two goods today or tomorrow. So I have proof that. So how you will get that proof? When you created a PO, when you create the PO, okay, then only, okay, I have the proof. Boss, I already requested these two bikes, but you didn't send to me. I can ask tomorrow the question. 
OK, so here the question is the receiving plant. The receiving plant. Requested to supply plan. Okay, by creating. Requesting articles or materials. Supply receiving plan requested materials. To supply. OK, requested materials to supply plan by creating PO. Right. That means how we generally are requesting to the vendor. Please send me this code like we are requesting here to supply plan. Why? Because here uh, we cannot say that uh, this supply plant is my vendor, right? It's like uh, our own company. It's my own company. That's why I just say that. OK, it's uh, my supply plant. Clear. It's clear. Yes, is that yes, clear sir. or not clear? Yes, sir. OK, now. Now the step one is here. Creating. STO that means so PO you can say PO OK, just step one is creating PO. OK. Now step two. So. What what was the step two? Once I once I get the order, once I get the order, what I will do? I have to plan the I have to dispatch the goods, right? My supply plan will sending the goods yes. to the customer. Sending sending goods to the receiving plan. Okay, now supply plan. Okay, uh, I'm just planning goods issue. Okay, goods issue to Goods. OK, this is the step two and step three is. Once I once the supply plant issue the stock, I can receive the goods, right? So in my location, I'm receiving. Okay. Now please let me know who will create the STO. The first step who will create the STO. Who will, who receive, re, receiving plant. Receiving plant. Why? Because receiving plant need uh, receiving plant have the requirement. So they will create the PO. And who will supply the goods? Supply. Who will goods issue? Supply plant, right? They have the stock they are sending. And who will receive the GR? Again, the receiving plant. The, the, what is the difference between above and below? The above, we are not requesting anything. It's not, it's like a regular uh, transaction. Might be it is within the same location, maybe side by side. We don't want to be waste uh, some time uh, creating PO, receiving the stock, and uh, receiving the stock. Okay, so they will do directly in the single screen. They will not create any PO. They will do directly transfer posting. They will do directly goods issue. But in the stock transfer MM route, OK, I'm using proper manner of steps. Create PO. If you get if I get the order, I can supply. If I didn't get the order, I will not take care of order. If you call me also, I am not accepting. OK, my rules are I need to get the order from the receiving plant. Then supply plant will send the goods. Clear? Is that clear? Yeah. OK. Uh, anyone have the doubts? First, no. you're still not clear. I uh, might be I can give the some examples. So can you give me one example, please? OK, uh, give me one example. OK. Now. You have a showroom. OK, Honda showroom. OK. You have Honda showroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's say it is in the Mayapur, Hyderabad. Okay, and it is in the high tech city. Okay. There are two locations plant A and plant B. Okay, so let's assume that Mayapur plant is a plant A. Okay, 
and uh, high tech city is a planned week. Okay. Now, I got order from the uh, yeah, put. from customer. Uh, he asking that okay, I need uh, some Honda. Maybe uh, I need Splendor Plus or Splendor or maybe okay, some bike he got ordered. Okay, mm -hmm. so when he's mm -hmm. checking the stock in the Mayapur, they don't have the stock. Okay, so I just immediately called to High Tech City branch. But do we have the Splendor Plus uh, bike? I got order from this customer. Okay, I have the stock, but you should try the request first. You should uh, the Mayapur uh, branch have to raise the request to the High Tech City branch. Boss, I need this bike. Can you supply to that? Why? Yeah. Because without uh, without any proper documentation, without any request, if you if you send the goods from High Tech City to Mayapur, it might be escalated tomorrow. If there is any shortage in the High Tech City tomorrow, if, if they get uh, some customer requirement in the High Tech City, then it will be escalated. Why? Because there is no proper documentation. And there, there is no proper requirement from the Mayapur how you are sending the goods to the Mayapur branch. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So, yes. why? Because Mayapur is handling someone, uh, some salesperson, and uh, Hitech City running some other salesperson. So, so, they have the targets and they have the own inventory and they have the own request from the customer. Okay. Without checking this all, uh, how we can send these goods to the uh, some other showroom? We can ask him, right? If I get the okay. request, okay, let me check that. I, whatever I have the request, customer request. If uh, if everything it is there, customer requests are fulfilled. I, still, I have the stock. Then only I can send. Okay, that means it is a proper documentation. Like you requesting me, if I have the stock, I can send to you. Okay. Clear. Yes, sir. Clear. Any any other doubts? No, sir. Okay. So this is the why we called MM Road. We are going with the PO goods issue, goods receipt. That's why we are talk, we are talking this as a MM Road. Okay. okay. And when we are talking about the uh, okay, so this is third one. I think I I hope you all understand about this process MM Road. Yes, sir. No, there is no doubt on this one, right? Now let's go to the, the next road, which is like MM stock transfer using stock transfer using ST road. So if you remember that the initial step, we had a discussion on the uh, other modules areas also. Did you remember that? We had a discussion on what is the SD process and what is the MM process? What is the PP process? What is the SD process? What is the QM process? Did you remember that? Yeah, we remember. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So, what what is the major concept here, SD? The major concept in the SD is shipping. That means delivery creation and dispatching the goods. So that means shipment. How you are doing shipment type is nothing but like a by road track or you maybe by using bus, by using ship, by using air. Okay, maybe you are using uh, some international cargo, or maybe you are using local bus services, or maybe you are using courier services. Shipment, okay. So, when we just talking about S2 route, why we need to, why we, it is mandatory to go with S2 route? Anyone? Do you have an idea about this S2 route? So, okay, let's go to the, what is the ST? What do you mean by ST first? Uh, let's go to basic level. What do you mean by ST? Sales and distribution, right? Yeah. So generally, if you are talking about the customer side, okay, 
this sales and distribution will come under the picture, right? Distribution. Okay. Sales and distribution. So generally, how it will be start? It will be start with customer order, and they will prepare the delivery, and uh, they will prepare the uh, shipping, packing, okay, and everything. Then they will dispatch the stock, okay. Then they will write the bill. So this is the SD route generally, okay. In the HD route is nothing but like it will be start with the customer order. Okay, I got customer order from the uh, customer. Then based on the customer order, I'm just preparing the delivery. So how much stock I need to send, how to prepare, so how to making packing and everything it is in the same in the delivery level, delivery, shipping and packing. Okay, Sh shipping is nothing but like a shipping point where exactly you are starting to dispatch, how you are sending the goods, Maybe in the road or it is transport, maybe in the sea, okay, maybe in the boat or it is maybe how you are sending the goods that is a shipping and the packing is nothing but like a, it is like a wrapping and packing depends on the customer requirement, okay. Then dispatch the stock, okay. So now when we're talking about the MM and SD road, okay, there was a too much difference here. Why? Because in the MM road, we just receiving the goods, okay. We are receiving the goods, but here they are dispatching the goods and they also be considering that what is the distribution level and also they are considering that what is the shipment type, how you are packing, okay, how you are, uh, uh, that means to how you are um, transporting, maybe transport management also will be coming to picture, okay. So when these type of are coming into the picture, okay, we general call as an outbound delivery. I think we already discussed about this one. What do you mean by outbound delivery? Is an external. Outbound delivery. It's naming only, it's naming only outbound delivery, right? An external delivery. Yes, external means what? Means we are shipping to the customer. Buying from outside. Yeah, so we are, we are the dispatching customer. the goods to the customer. That means outbound, it's going out. Okay, if it is coming inside, then we call it inbound delivery. Yeah, from the plant to plant. Okay. Okay, so it's not only plant to plant. Okay, okay, uh, it's also be like uh, maybe vendor also, or it may be in the customer also. Okay, it's not like when it is moving outside. The, uh, when it is moving from outside, we generally call uh, uh, outbound delivery. When it is receiving inside, then we generally call it inbound delivery. Okay, now, now when we're talking about S2 road, okay. Instead of creating goods issue in the MM level, okay. Instead of creating goods issue in the MM level, we directly creating the delivery in the HD level. That means we just interfering that okay. I need to be use this outbound delivery process, shipping and packing process in the in the SD rule. So generally, if you anyone knows why we we need to create a shipping document. Anyone knows who, why to we are verify the, to verify the goods? Is it ship the exact goods and quantity? We need to verify. Okay. Okay. And the quantity and price details. But those. even in the goods issue also, I can have the material number and the goods and how much it is issued. What thing it is there? Right? To track the shipment. The okay. One we can track the shipment. Next. Okay, so I'll tell you here the major point is when you started the dispatching the goods from your location to other location, that means let's say if from Hyderabad to Vajab, if I'm transferring the goods from my location to another location, okay, 
what are the challenges generally when you are sending goods from one location to another location what are the challenges transport facilities okay transport packing charges packing packing charges okay mm, delivery address i mean exact address okay i think you are missing one point okay that tax related oh yeah yeah okay yeah. that tax why because okay when you are selling the goods to the customer okay you need to pay that the internal tax and the external tax whatever it is like gst or it might be okay uh, igst or something inter international national and something which we have right so those gst we need to pay one thing the second thing is if you are selling the goods to the customer okay you have to show that okay we are already uh, paying amount for this okay the income tax uh, okay i'm just already paying this income tax to you and we also we already maintaining this all in the sales register these goods are uh, sending selling to the customer and we already paying the vat and igst everything right but here the case is i am not selling i am not selling the goods but i am sending to the outside my plants are in the different different locations or it may be different different states it is there in the hyderabad or it is in the bangalore or it may be in the vijayawada okay when it is moving outside if some custom people are, if suppose let's say sales people okay or custom people or it may be uh, uh, the income tax department okay if they catch you and if they are asking that what these are goods and do, do you have the generator bills okay have you paid all the taxes and have had what everything it is paying or not okay and sales income tax you are paying or not so everything they will ask right at pro when you are selling to the customer yes whether you registered the sales or not do you have the proper registration number or not okay where you are sending this goods what is the cost of the value everything they will ask right yes is it or not they will ask or they will not ask yeah they will ask right so here the point is here we are using the estu route but no billing that means why because we just transferring the goods so if suppose someone they catching to me and asking that okay where is your uh, bill and where, where to whom you are selling is that in the interstate or intrastate okay selling okay when they are asking about that i can say that boss this is the my own company i'm just transferring the goods i'm not selling to anyone okay so please look into this billing document this in this billing document i'm just clearly mentioning that it is only just transfer it is not for selling so that's why we don't have any no billing but we have the outbound delivery document in, the, in that delivery we document we are saying that we are created pro forma invoice that is dummy billing document okay, i am saying that boss this is not we are selling to the customer we are transferring the goods it is just like a purpose of transferring one location to another location once we are using this product if we are selling to the customer then again we will pay the amount clear yeah it's clear did you understand or still any doubts here got it sir okay if you want i can give an example if you want to go i can give the example go ahead can i go ahead with the example or do you want to yes, understand sir. that go ahead with the example sir yeah okay let's take the example one example Hmm? 
Do you know that state to state? The state to state. Uh, state to state, the tax values are different. And uh, do you know that uh, the service charges, okay, are are income tax different to state to state? Okay, if you see that, if I have the petrol, petrol, it is there in the cost, 110 rupees in the higher, Telangana, okay. It is uh, uh, 115 rupees in the underbridge. So when uh, it will reduce the cost, might be if the, the state level, if they are reducing the charges, the price will be reduced, right? I think you already aware about this. The, the high level, the uh, country level, they already reduced the charges. The, the state level, they have to reduce the charge. That's why there was just some difference between the Telangana, Tamil Nadu, and Andhra Pradesh. Sorry, this is Andhra Pradesh, right? Right. So let's assume that I'm just to uh, let's assume that any product, if it is related to from you are preparing or producing in the Telangana, and you are selling to the customer to the Andhra Pradesh, so there will be additional charges also. They will charge that is like uh, interstate to selling. It's not only the uh, in, uh, not only the state uh, charging. It is like interstate charging also. It will be there. The additional cost we need to be paid. Okay. So now I'm just transferring the goods from the one location to another location. Okay. But I'm not selling the goods because it is a it is just transferring to the other plant. Okay, we, we are saying that these are the raw materials. We are we are sending these goods to another location. Okay, so those cases what will be happen? We can we will not pay any profit related. That means it is not customer billing, right? We are not getting any income. We are not getting any income. So we we don't need to be pay any income tax here, right? Income uh, cost, whatever income tax we are paying. Okay, so those cases what will be due? You should you should display the outbound delivery document and you should display the shipping document. Boss, in the shipping document, I'm just clearly mentioning that. And the, uh, the performance invoice, I'm just mentioning that. Boss, this is not for selling. This is just for transferring. Okay. So when it will be happen is with no billing. When plan to plan transfer. Plan to plan transfer in the same company code. In the same company code. That means within the Reliance Digital, if that they are transferring from one location to another location, maybe from the Hyderabad to uh, maybe Suryapat, or it may be from Vijayawad to Vijayab, or it may be from the Anandapuram to Kakinada, or it may be Bangalore. Okay, so when we're talking about this one, okay, if it is within the company code, then we don't need to be generate a bill. Why? Because it is my own product and we are not selling. Clear? And now you tell me that what is the difference between the step three and step four? In step three, we are sending the goods to the customer location, but in step four, we are sending the goods to our own location. We are transferring the goods only. No, 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 no. There we are. In. We are all talking about the stock transfer only here. These are all transfer okay, posts. We are not talking about any customers here. We just assuming that okay, here, we just assuming that the receiving plant has a customer. I'm just assuming that to understand purpose. I'm just saying that. Okay, so it's okay. not like a customer location, it is a receiving location. Just maybe you are confusing with this. Okay, it's okay. not customer. Okay, it's also same can... day. Okay. okay, tax related things we can mention here. 
it's not only tax. It's not only tax. Okay. Here, uh, what we need to understand that. Okay, even it is within our city also. What we'll do? We'll generate a shipping document. Okay, like oh, uh, via we are sending the local bus services, or maybe via we are sending courier, and we did packing. Okay. So we are have the outbound delivery document. We are generating from that, and we just clearly mentioning that. Okay, if someone is catching you your stock, okay, so boss, this is not for sale. This is just transferring the goods. Okay, but in the above step three, okay, there is no proper outbound delivery documentation. There is no proper shipping document. If somebody they catch you, okay, you don't have any answers to say, boss, this is the we are just transferring the goods. Okay, so the major step one, step two, step three we are using when it is near to your location. That means side by side, or it may be um, it is like a one kilometer, two kilometers, like okay, you just uh, transferring that without any shipping, without any shipment transport. But when I'm just talking about the fourth step, we are just going with the outbound delivery. Clearly, we are preparing all the shipping documents. Clearly, we are preparing that all the billing document that was a dummy billing dummy billing which is like we are saying that this is not this is not selling to the customer we are just transferring goods from one plant to another plant within the same company code okay clear yeah got it what it right so any questions on yeah. this still good? if you still not understand please let me know we understood sir. Okay. Now, now let me uh, what is the step five? With test route and with billing. So we, in, in which case the billing is required? For customer. Customer. Okay. So that means you are legally selling the goods to the customer. Then only yeah. you need the billing. Right. So, sir, you said your customer now again. You are saying this is a stock transfer. So, what is the confusion on this one? Why, you, sir, you are talking about stock transfer again? You are talking about customer. So, what is this confusion? Did you understand the step five? What? Why we need to raise the billing, even it is stock transfer? Other from the far location? No, on the book is also far distance. We just discussed about that. It is for distance. Any any idea? Next. Any idea? The third part location or is it? No. No, it is a, it's just like stock, stock transfer only. It's not like third party location. Okay, let's see. Plan to plan transfer between the two company posts. Did you remember that the accounting are the income tax returns and the sales yeah. and profit everything we are doing at company core level so when there is a different different businesses we obviously it is a different company codes that means if you are illegally if you are transferring the goods from the one plant to another plant that means you're just transferring the goods from the one company code to another company code but it is legally you are Selling the goods to the other company code. Why? Because there is impacting on the accounting. Okay, that means you are uh, moving go goods from one company code, legal entity, from another legal entity. Okay. So what do you mean, what is the difference between company codes? What you what do you mean by the company code? Company you code. We have a separate billing for any company code. Mm -hmm. Under the company code, we have so many plans and our okay. purchase organization group. Okay, so I have the Reliance group. I have the Reliance group. 
Okay. So do we call Reliance Group is my company code? No, Reliance Group is a like company. We have an under the company. We it's have so many company companies. codes. Okay. It's a group of companies. So when I'm just talking about the Reliance so Fresh, when I'm just talking about a Reliance Fresh, is a different company code. And when I'm just talking about a Reliance so Communication, a different uh, company code. And I'm just talking about a Reliance Petrol, it's a different company. Code. And when I just talking about a retail uh, reliance uh, digital, it is a different company code. That means the reliance group they have the different different businesses. They are doing different businesses. But when you registered, okay, registering registered has a company has a company code, okay, which means you legally. You are legally doing uh, all the financial activities separately for this. You are maintaining separately all the financial activities. That means profit and loss, or it may be uh, how much you bought, how much you received. All it will be happen the value, all it will be considering at a Reliance Fresh level, not at a Reliance Group level. Okay, when I just talking about again Reliance Communication, again it is registered separately as a Reliance Communication. A company code, separate company code. So, what we general call this is the entity. Okay. And company code both are same. Okay. So, separate company code, separate entity with the registered with the registering all financial activities. That means, financial years you are submitting your uh, accounting data, financial data. Profit and loss account data, income tax returns, sales register data, everything it is maintained at company code level, not at company level. Okay, if you're getting loss in the Reliance Fresh, that means it is only Reliance Fresh loss, it's not entire Reliance Group. Okay, and financial activities. The same way we are doing for the all the Reliance Petrol and Reliance Digital. Okay, now my plan is here in this. Uh, with SD road with billing. Okay. My requirement is I have Reliance Fresh, I have the Reliance Communication. So I am using some consumables, uh, some consumable products in the Reliance Fresh and Reliance Communication. Okay. So I just want to be transfer the goods from Reliance Fresh to Reliance Communication. Okay. That means it is legally you are transferring the goods from one location, one company code to another company code. So that means if you say that it is a just transfer, they will not agree. It is legally you are selling the goods to them and they are buying goods from you. That means at a financial level, the financial the, uh, values which is moving from one doc, one company code to another company code. Clear? So in this case, in this case, I can consider that, okay, the Reliance Fresh is my supplying plant. That means he is my vendor. Okay. And Reliance Communication is my customer. General, how we are doing P2P cycle and uh, again, sales team, how they are doing sales to uh, customer billing. The same way we can do here, we are generating the vendor invoice, we are generating the customer billing. That we call as an intercompany billing. The customer billing we call as intercompany billing, and again we just call it intercompany invoice. That means legally all the values which is transferred from the one company code to another company code. Clear? So now you understand what is the difference between four and five. In the five, we have the billing and we have the vendor invoice. And uh, if you see that four, we don't have any billing. It's just like a dummy billing. We are saying that it is just like a transferring the goods within the same company code. There is no impact on the financial level. I, we don't need to be pay any GST values and anything which that value anything here. Okay. So 
So did you understand this or any confusion on that? Step four, step five, step. Are you clear about this process? Yeah, we clear about it. Hi, sir. Can you give like an example? Any example? One more example. For this? Stop yes, sir. Uh -huh. okay, I can go with the Tata. Instead of I go Reliance Group, I can go with the Tata Steel, Tata yeah. uh, Motors, mm -hmm. Tata Communication. Okay. So Tata Group is the Tata Group is the high level, which is like a group of companies. Okay. When mm -hmm. we call it as a Tata Group, it is a group of companies. Okay. And when we just individually talking about that Tata Steel, Tata uh, Motors, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, Tata water bottles which we are getting, TIG, AIG or something which we are getting, yeah, right? Yeah. So true. these are all different different business. Why? Because uh, why? I will I will tell you why we are differently maintaining this register. Why we are registering different company codes? Why? Because each and every company code that means each and every business have their own subsidy from the government. If you are using some social services, okay. If you are doing some communication, if you are doing some tobacco, okay. If you are doing some petrol, so each and every product, the business level, the taxes and the subsidies will be different. If I am running the uh, Tata Steel and I am simply registered like a Tata Communication, okay. Communication is like service. So you will get some subsidy like 10% from the all the taxes. So I, they will not accept, right? Why? Because Tata Steel is a different product. And Tata Communication is a service. Tata Steel is the, it's a product, right? And communication yes, is sir. a service. So that's why each and every entity, it is, uh, each and every entity, we are uh, registering in the high level at the accounting, financial level. Okay. 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 If they are, they started to riding, take okay, they will do only Tata Steel. Okay, suppose Tata Steel. I went, I just went to go to Tata Steel. Okay, I need documents only related to Tata Steel, not uh, Tata Communication. Okay. okay. When okay. we are talking about our income tax, or when we are talking about sales, sales register, purchase register, all it will be happening in the each company level, each entity okay. level. Clear? Okay. Yes. So clear any doubts here? No, sir. Clear. Okay. So. So this was STO. So yesterday someone they're asking some doubt on the STO. I just stopped yesterday. Right? So any doubts on? No, sir. It's 